Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with a new episode of our Absid campaign for 1212 AD. And in the last episode, uh, we did have a big battle with the uh, Kingdom of Silesia here. Um, which we did a lot of damage to their cavalry, um, their, their uh, catapults, but I mean that's kind of it. We did lose a lot of our own troops uh, here. And um, we're going to have to sort that out. We're going to have to sort that out very quickly um, to be sure. Um, we're going to probably just carry on recruiting in both these regions. Luckily, Aleppo has a garrison. Actually, no, it doesn't. Oh, this could be a concern then. Uh, um, so they might actually come and besiege us out here. The Swords of Christ. Who knows? I could actually see if we can get peace. Um, I don't know if that will be the case. Uh, don't know why it's being a little bit laggy. Be welcome, I no, I didn't think they would. Now speak as you will. And try to be in I guess I could offer them. No, I don't think. I, I don't even think offering them a little bit of money would make a difference. I could demand a wife. I don't think that would work either. Um, but yes. So we may have to lose Aleppo temporarily. I am rebuilding an army down here, which has the uh, potential to get up to Erbil, uh, from Erbil up to Aleppo in support. But this is going to take a little while. Um, we do have armies back here in the east as well that are now trying to come across. Um, so they should s shortly be able to join us on our battle west. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to just see quickly whether there's... I mean, they've actually got to deal with the Quasmarine Pretenders first, but... They'll become... I could probably deal with just putting one army into the field uh, there, and I could probably put another army um, back in the east. I could, like, send one army back and then build another one in the east to, like, take over, because it's not like the, it's an imminent problem, is... Uh, Quasmarine Empire's uh, rebels, or whatever they, you want to call them, Quasmarine rebels. Um, Marinid Sultanate. My friend, you honor this place with your arrival. Ah, your humble servant in matters of. Nah, that's a bit high. They've got a very strong economy, apparently. Uh, okay, I don't know how strong this economy is, but I'm having to really edit like my my amount. Jesus, I'm just going to put that much in. Right, that would be moderate. Well, I don't think their economy is strong at all, you know. They can only afford so much money. Uh, I'm going to... No, it's not even worth it. I want a thousand and something off you. Oh, they're actually... The Kingdom of England's down here. What? Why is the Kingdom of England here? That is really weird. They've lost a lot of territory, though. Speak I think. Oh, no, they haven't. Sorry, the third ranking. They've said seven territories. Okay. That is a concern, though. I must extend the most um, they are actually a vassal of the Hasfids. Okay. Um, Greetings, yeah, I don't think anyone's got any anything for me. I, I just need to find, like, a wife for this Hassan guy. But I don't think we're going to find it, so I'm just going to end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, I don't know why it's being ever so slightly slow, um, the game. It's just been like this all day, so I'm just going to have to do a little bit of enduring. There we go. Execute the order to purge a few of these men. These poor, poor men. They've already died, like, enough from Crusaders. Now it's, uh, that's it. They've had it. So I hope you guys are all doing well and are, uh, well, if you're in the UK enjoying this nice weather, I've got like absolutely amazing weather here, it's boiling. Um, but yeah, if you're, uh, I hope you're all doing well in uh, wh wherever you are in the world and uh, staying safe and stuff like that and having good days hopefully while also uh, staying safe and thank you for all the support in the uh, Last couple of episodes. Let's keep it up with all the likes and subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, leave me a comment. I always uh, appreciate your guys' uh, comments on advice or just if you've got like, I don't know, you want there's anything you want me to do or something like that. I'm more than happy to uh, try and uh, do my best and uh, do whatever goals you give me. I try see them as a personal goal to try and take out. Obviously right now I feel like we're a little stretched on uh, some of our issues. The Kingdom of Silesia is actually retreating. Oh, it's actually going to go and besiege the, Sel um, the Seljuks. I'm fine with that. They can go and besiege the Seljuks. Gives me 
a little bit of time to recuperate my troops and uh, any losses I've had there. We do have a little rebellion to deal with as well, but hopefully one of my uh, allies might come and deal with that. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, I think Mecha and Salgrids are still going to come. There you go. The Mongols are just doing their own thing. I don't mind that. They can carry on doing whatever they're doing. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, who knows. They're sending like a tiny little stack westwards, maybe to help me. Who knows? There's so many factions now, so many pretenders as well. There we go, though. They're going to kill those uh, rebels for me. I don't know if I'll actually help in that. I think I might be about to help. I think... Oh. Okay, so we're back. I did just make a small cut because I don't know why, but that was being really slow in that end turn. And I did, just didn't want to put you through having to watch that. Uh, yeah, when it got to like attacking that small army there, it just decided, no, it's just not going to... It's just not going to play uh, play ball. So anyway, um, someone did say that this event might come up, uh, like give equal rights. I could give them equal rights and give them influence. Um, and... Um, if I give them equal rights, it gives them religious influence uh, plus ten. I don't. And that's faction wide. Uh, I don't think that's really going to be an issue in many places because just Christianity is just not even present. And then I could also just give them impose sanctions, which just does religious influence minus ten faction wise. So it's not even like a negative. I'm going to just impose sanctions. I don't even care. I'm going to knock that down and let's put in. Let's put in a, we've got like a uh, pleasure house being made already, uh, I could put in a glass furnace and I'm going to put in a glass furnace I think. Excellent, okay, what can you recruit here? Nothing, because this is a region stricken by <laughs> love conflict. Anyway, we can produce stuff here, so this is what we're going to do, we're going to just produce more troops in this region. Um, I'm going to put in some... I can't get the normal basic swords here. Interesting. Okay. So I guess I might get... Uh, what will I get if I'm... I guess I get Ghoul and Foot Guards. Oh my gosh, how many can I get? Four. Yes, let's get four of Ghoul and Foot Guards going. Execution of those guys. Yeah, they're doing their thing. Ready for duty, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, their integrity is now going up, so that's great. Aleppo's can't recruit anything still, but that's not the end of the world. I don't want to go to help Antioch because their garrison's really good and they've got a really small army. So I don't really want to help them just achieve their goals. Um, I'm going to put in that, obviously an undeveloped thing. Uh, undeveloped area, so what is the reason for this? War weariness, immigrants. Okay, um, we've got a, a fun look going. I could put a pleasure house in. I'm going to put in and Earthen uh, Moss. We're actually making a lot of money currently. Ten grand a turn. Can't complain at that one bit. Uh, and then this is a really small army. Oh yes, this is my other really small army I started producing because just out of, I guess out of necessity. I think I had to defend Baghdad so I decided I'd just put a small army in. But anyway, since you can recruit uh, the swords here, you can recruit the swords and you can get a cavalry unit so you can do that as well. Um, so we must be running out of men there that we can build. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, and then you can get ready. You can prepare yourself for the invasion. Prepare for the invasion. This region here is actually doing okay. Um, military presence is 22. That is an issue. Religious differences. Okay, Shia Islam is going down massively here, so we don't even need to worry about that. If I took you out, what would happen? Minus seven. That's not atrocious. We have got this going in, which is going to massively impact that. So I might just get this other army, get ready, march it up here. And let's see what we can do. Um, two full stacks I have. They don't even, they don't have two full stacks there. Okay, they probably have two full stacks actually in the amount of men that they have. They have about three armies and a garrison, so they probably... 
plenty of stacks, just whether they can... Oh my gosh, Georgia is also, like, getting ready to finish off that faction there, that my Muslim Lord. faction. Um, but yeah, so I think I should be okay. And I've got still 1,900 left. Can I spend that on anything? We fight for you, my I would have thought here, but apparently not. Apparently we've run out of men. Run out of men to man the walls. Erbil, can you recruit anything? I imagine you could, but it's yeah, going to take four turns. So, that's a no-no. Um, I guess, see if we can get more money and try and then upgrade a settlement. My only my only thought that we can do, really. Um, Greetings, my friend. Greetings. Malachite of Oman, you got anyone my for marriage? No, any of you? Welcome, friend. This is going to just take a little bit of time, I have well, a feeling. Military access. Well, well, you're already kind of just walking through my lands anyway, my so I might actually just give that to you. Greetings, most military access. Man. You're walking through my lands anyway, so why not make it and speak as you would. worthwhile? There you go, 1800. I will finally give you that. And then Navaz can have a better uh, sanitation region. That's going to certainly help. Istafan's still actually got disease. That's not so good. Yads is sort of be nullified. We're going to need to certainly sort this out. But uh, that can be sorted out in due course. Religious difference is still a massive problem here. That's weird. But anyway, we're going to end the turn. And we're going to see what happens. I don't really have anything else to spend my uh, my money on, basically. And we'll see what happens. I'd like to just kind of bash through a few turns, see if we can get the Ghoul and Foot Guard out, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of be able to do some assaults. Maybe on uh, Antioch, maybe on Silesia, or on Jerusalem. The Holy Roman Empire is still wandering through the desert. Bit weird. I think they're still going for Cairo, aren't they? They are. They're probably, that's what they were going for this entire time. And the Ubids aren't deciding to defend it. And now I have this weird shot of Alexandria the rest of the end. And here we go. I can look at Trebizond. Silesia. Still besieging uh, the Turks down. That's kind of fine with me. Um, does strengthen them, but means that they don't have just one settlement to defend. I mean, it strengthen, strengthens them, but if they defend that one settlement that is held by the Turks... Then I could probably take out their other one, which has probably all their economy and all their food, etc. So, should be fine. Mecca's doing, like, stuff all over the place. So, I mean, these people that I've allied with, I, I kind of, yeah, I don't want that at all. Like, certainly Mecca and stuff, I can't be asked to go and pacify them. They're already allied with me. Um, yeah, there we go, they're destroyed, the Ildzig uh, people. Christian opposition, yeah, yeah. I thought it would happen. Public order would uh, become an issue, but I don't really care. There's like so few Christians in my land, I could not care. And yeah, all the trade is gone. Uh, that's an issue. But so now we need to worry about uh, Georgia, probably. I mean, luckily he looks like Georgia's having some issues, maybe with. Oh no, they're not having issues at all with them. Why? How did you get in there then? I do not know. Who knows? But they somehow managed to get in there and take that settlement. Um, you're raiding there. I'd rather you didn't take that settlement off them. At your command. Or you can't because Antioch's besieging it. Um, or the Antioch pretenders besieging it. Um, Aleppo has now a free spot. I'm tempted to put in this so it gets better. So we, yeah, I'm tempted to put in that, or I could put in hmm, a muster ground would be also be pretty nice. It's minus nine currently. I'm thinking we're going to put in a town barracks. A town barracks to sort out the public order issue, keep the men in place, and also allows like us to recruit some troops here. I mean, it won't be great troops, but it'll be some something. It's going to be footwear uh, spears so early, so they're not great. Um, but it's something, like I said, uh, that, that's just enough. Uh, they're actually plus, uh, just going to take one turn. That's a 14 stack, which I'd be happy to kind of go wander around with. Uh, certainly be able to take some regions out. Um, cunning. No, I don't really want to do that. Let's, um, hmm. 
I guess we could go there and then discourage population and then we can preach doom. Inspire troops, there's always one. Uh, corruption's also not bad for another one we might want to do. I am going to... Okay, I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to attack these guys. This is only a 19 stack army though now. What happened? Did it lose a unit somewhere? Uh, it's fine, I can probably go in without the 19 stack. So here we go. Go take the plunge. And everyone joined. Yeah, I thought this was a full 20 stack, but apparently not. Uh, put a siege tower in. And then put this guy in. Let's have let's have the king murdered, I guess. Assassinate this guy. Yeah, oh, narrowly escaped death. Excellent. And then let's shoot you. Um, yeah, let's have you killed. Oh, damn it, he failed. No surprise there. It's now actually 50-50. I have a good chance of winning this. Um, I'm not going to do it. Obviously, you have no siege equipment. So, I can't. Um, but yeah, we've kind of got them all trapped here. They could possibly go and besiege her at, but I'd like to see them really try. Um, it's plus three currently. I'm going to put in... I'm going to put in a bigger castle. Bigger castles, the better. Um, actually, I think there's something we could build in Yads, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually put in a huge palace. Um, food here is not great, so we will have to sort that out with goat pens next turn. Or I could try and skim some money out of someone. Oh my gosh, England is... Oh, this is Castile. What the heck is going on here in Africa? Uh, it looks like we're about to lose another trading partner. Um, which is a bit of an issue, but we can see what happens from there. Uh, there we go, 1300. Now I want... I, I propose that you give me, sir. Oh. I hate it when they talk. It's just my worst nightmare for me right now. Just don't need to listen to your jibber jabber. Of all things. It's the last thing I need. Um, the Gurids have anyone that can marry? No. I think. My God, we're gonna be really good off with the, <laughs> with the um, the Gurids. They're gonna these, really like us. Uh, Marinids, Gen, I guess. Let's see if we can get more money out of you. Friend. Oh, actually no. Let's try the Almohad pretenders. I greet you in my master's field. Okay, they don't. They don't. They don't want anything. Um, the Cumans, maybe. I listen because your people are known to have honor. Yes, we we do have honor. Much honor. Uh, but yeah. Not looking like we can do much there. Ulus of Toloi, trade agreement. No, okay, apparently you wouldn't want trade. Very well. Um, there's not much else I can offer you then. I guess the Nicene Pretenders. Actually, surely you guys would like me because I'm at war with... Yeah, I thought you'd like me because I'm at war with the Latins, but okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have to wait till next turn to actually get enough money then to build a goat pen for Yads. But that's fine. That can... That can wait. Um, we can try and just... Plough through some more turns while we wait. Interesting to see whether Cairo gets taken. I wonder if it will. Um, the Commune of Milan. Oh my gosh. It's just a load of Milanese people. Uh, I guess, yes, I enter the war. Oh my gosh. What is happening over here in North Africa? There's so many, like, random factions that are just, like, bringing full stacks. Yeah, we'll just bring a full stack, see what happens. And the Holy Roman Empire still isn't even besieging Cairo. They're just starving in the middle of the desert. What is going on? But I'm happy going to war with all these, like, western factions currently. I can just knock them back when they eventually come this far east. And Trebizond's... Triple Zone's gonna kill my goddamn monk. Oh no, you missed. That's what you get for trying to kill my holy man. And Silesia's sending up its other stack. Okay. Well, hopefully the Ayubids uh, stay around long enough. And they're actually finally besieging Akka. Nice. That's taken them 
one day too long. Oh my gosh, my vassals are at war with my allies. Um, that's not so good at all. And the Marinids are now gone, are going up to war with just about everyone as well. Uh, very well, I'll go to war with all these people. I shouldn't have made so many alliances. But it looks like, usually the uh, North Africa is very secure and just stays fully Muslim in like every 12-12 game I played. But no, apparently the Western factions are going to just strike back. And here we go, this is what I expected to happen. And here we go, the big battle we were all expecting. Um, they've got all their generals back, annoyingly. But we can make this work, I'm sure. The elephants are probably like one of the biggest reasons that they have like a lot of their strength. They have some cavalry as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to fight this, so I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we're back on the battlefield. This is how we're setting up. We've got our horse archers on the right, archers out front, shot cavalry on the left, and then just an infantry line mix of spears and swords in between. Um, it seems like everything's going off now. Music's just blasting off and just chaos is occurring, but we're going to slowly just get the rest of our troops up to the front line. Just go to about here. I'm probably going to fill this second line with uh, all of my uh, infantry bands, archers. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, all get here. Just get here. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is, this is going to be a lot of men on the battlefield. And then cavalry all can go to there as well. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, more? Um... I guess go this side. Go there. There we go. That's everyone. Apparently. Though I'm not so sure. And then general goes like here. Why not? It's going to take a long time to get this army up here. But it should get here in no time. And while we while that's happening, let's have a look at what they're bringing uh, to the battlefield. They look like they've got elephants. They attack, so they will have to come towards me. Um, they've got elephants. They've got... Just a load of multicolored men. Look at all these guys. These guys are insanely colored. And then we've got, what have we got over here? We've got horse archers of their own. Um, Krasmarine mercenaries. Okay. Got Krasmarine mercenary lancers. Mercenaries, even though they can't bring mercenaries in this game yet. Mukti and more mercenary lancers. So I guess it's just like a unit or something. But balance power, I'd say, is not in my favor, even though I have the numbers. It's because of these goddamn guys here. And they've got silver chevrons. I didn't even realize this. These are going to be an issue. Um, I presume, yeah, we can do flaming shots so we can scare those guys off. Um, and there's another unit somewhere else that we kind of need to deal with. Uh, there's plenty of Nafatoons. If we can get rid of their cavalry, we'll be fine. So I'm going to fast forward and see what happens. Probably not much. But I mean, yeah, they've got silver chevrons, but we've got a lot of gold and double silver chevrons ourselves. So we're looking okay. We are looking okay. But this is uh, certainly going to be a good finale to this battle, uh, to this battle, to this, uh, to this uh, episode. Um, and also this rivalry, I guess, that I've had with the Krasmarian Empire. Even though this is the Pretenders, um, this is technically still them, I guess. If we can also take down generals, that would be also pretty good. Uh, it's obviously going to be still difficult. They've also got a lot of Nafatoons, which is just a bit silly. Um, they're, yeah, they're setting up a big army over there for some reason. Not really got a clue to what why they're doing that. Um, you go into skirmish formation, I guess, and we'll carry on setting up more archers along this line here. All my cavalry uh, go like here, and yeah, just all go down there. Then we'll have more swords. Oh no, not these swords. These swords all can go in here, like so. Then more archers. Are gonna just be oh my gosh, we've got so many arches in this army. So many arches. Um I guess go like go along this line yourself. I don't really need a really long thing. Okay. Here comes all their art all their goddamn stuff. Uh okay, so horse arches start focusing down here. Um, Nafatoons, just be careful. Um, okay, we might need to send our cavalry up this side. Oh, okay, no, the cavalry's already attacking us down here. Okay, I'm gonna just go into slow-mo quickly. 
Um, they got a really good charge off on me there. Um, they're in combat. Let's just bring all stuff around. I did not see this all happen. This is very quick. Well done by them, I guess. Um, their infantry is definitely not going to be ready in time. But hey, that that's that's an issue for them. Um, let's actually pull out some of this cav. This doesn't all need to be just in combat here. Um, shoot these guys. Shoot these guys. And now we're good. We're good to go. Um, cavalry. Pull out. Get round. So just to save these guys. Oh no. Get these guys first. There's a lot of these guys here. Oh my gosh. The Ghoulin foot guard's not doing so hot. But we can deal with that in time. We can just get all this cavalry. Mop, mop it all up. But we're having... Oh yeah, we're having issues out here on the flank. What was this? Oh, some goddamn archers. That's not the end of the world actually. Um, but yeah, we're looking a bit iffy on the side of, uh, on the right hand side. But we still got cavalry. We've still got horse archers, I should say. Um, we've got cavalry here that's now freed up. Excellent. You go in there. And then you, if you can charge into the side there, that'll be excellent. Our infantry should win every single fight. No problem at all. It's just whether we can win the fight with like everything else. Um, Nafatoons just shoot these guys down. I do not want the Nafatoons shooting my men. Right, cavalry is now engaging, like the dumb idiots they are. Um, should get them. We're focusing down these Krasmarine lancers. Uh, don't want to put them in. A Cantabrian Circle just yet. Don't want to actually put them in Cantabrian Circle at any point. Okay, we're breaking all this stuff here. This is going to be a lot in slow-mo, I have a feeling, because there's so many men to kill. Um, free up cavalry. I just don't want to really get it involved in any fights to do with uh, horse archers just yet. No fights with cavalry would be excellent. Um... Yeah, the Ghulams are like now in... Nor okay, elephants. Didn't see the elephants. Um, they're actually doing okay. Nafatoons, shoot these guys. Uh, blow up these guys. Then we're looking great. Um, they're trying to shoot my general. That's not on. Uh, let's put you on flaming shot. And then let's have the Nafatoons shoot these. Their general's been killed. Excellent. Right. Uh, let's put it in slow-mo again. It's going to need to be in slow-mo. We're killing elephants off quickly like they're no problem. It's just other stuff that I'm a bit worried about now. I'm going to have to send infantry in to help this uh, front line. We've got infantry freed up here though. This is good. Very good. Um, cavalry, we're looking really strong now. On this flank, looking really strong. Uh, let's send them in as well. Uh, the cavalry over here. Oh, we've got, uh, we've got infantry here as well. Okay, get the infantry up. Let's just force... We're, we're going to win the left. We're going to win the left. The right is a bit more dubious on whether we'll win that. Um, it's looking very risky. There we go. Okay. You're all focusing them down. Okay, the spears there are winning. I might send my general in risk him here. Actually, no. Pull back the general to like so. Pull my, my general here. I mean... He's still a big risk, just having here. This has got down horse archers. I need to focus these guys down. Focus these horse archers down, please. Um, Nafatoons are only out of ammo. That's fine. Looks like they've done their damage. Done the deed they need to do. They're not out of ammo, those ones. Um, flank round here. And we're looking great. Uh, okay, normal speed again. I think we're good. It's a huge battle, though. Huge battle. Uh, Ghulams, yep, yeah, just get up. Help with there. All the cavalry, yep, yeah, charge these guys in here. Charge these guys in here. And there we go, we're good. And then surround these guys. And we're looking absolutely amazing. I think we've lost some... Uh, we've lost some guys. <laughs> lost some guys. Of course we've lost some guys. We've lost some... I thought we'd lost some uh, generals, but we haven't. We've just lost... Right, I'm going to have to pull back this general, like, severely. 
This cavalry is going to be a big risk, but hey. Um, actually, can you just throw your Nafatoons in there? Well, I might lose these Nafatoons, but it's well worth the risk right now, I think. Yeah, this is going to be an issue, but it's an issue that I'm willing to have to risk. Uh, I'm going to lose, yeah, like I said, I'll lose this side, but hey. They've got more stuff just coming on. Uh, that is insane. Um, more stuff coming on means more stuff to die, I guess. Um, they've lost a lot of stuff here. Their Nafatoons are now getting charged. Oh, no, that's not so good. That's not so fun. Oh, well. Um, not much I can do about that. Nafatoons, can you just get out? You might actually be able to get out of that. Um, archers, I need you to come forward again. Like, especially Ghulams. Uh, you need to be not in that one, and you need to be in... There we go, right. Gulen Foot Guard also needs to just be fighting. They just need to be fighting. These guys just need to fight. Right, um, that's perfect. We're doing okay here. It's this flank on the far side now. Issues. Issues are being made. Yeah, they just, these Nafasins are finished. They've finished all their ammo. Um, I guess put them on skirmish mode if they ever have to be on that. Slow it down a little bit more. Uh, right, so let's have you doing so. I need my cavalry, and I'm losing it. I'm losing all my cavalry in silly fights. Like, how are these guys over here losing? Oh, Julian Gulam and Swag, or whatever they're called. Basically, just some good goddamn infantry. Uh, you won. I want you over here. Kill these guys. There's a general there we can kill. Um, apart from that, we're doing okay. We're doing fine. Um, Rejig this line. Um, pull these guys back. Pull everyone back. Just make some sort of a line. And there we go. That's not what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to keep these two units of cavalry alive for as long as possible. Are they seriously going to charge me? No. Okay, very well. Um, they might, though. Yeah, they are going to charge my, ghoul, my guys. Um... We're winning on that flank again. That's okay, actually. No, 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 no. They're coming. They're coming. Um, okay, yeah, we're still having issues here on this flank, though. There we go. Okay, we're doing fine there. Jeez. Oh, this cavalry is still getting focused down. I, I swear to God, if it, we lose just because of the cavalry, I will have issues. Um, all right, we're actually, we're still on fire ammo for some reason here. For some reason. Uh, get these guys. It's my horse archers. They finally freed themselves up. Excellent. Right, so we can go around the back and start doing damage to them now. And do the same damage that they've just done to me. Right, every archer, start focusing down that general as well. Any available archer, shoot those generals. Uh, those Nafatoons, God knows what they're doing. They're going to die, though. Uh, I think we've got this. It's going to be a very costly victory, but... At the same time, it's not the end of the world, because we've got so many... Uh, so much time to just replenish this force. Uh, yeah, don't chase these guys. Um, you just get off that, and you can shoot these guys. We might need you to uh, shoot this general. Actually, that's an idea. Get the horse archer to shoot this general. How have the Ghulam foot guard got all the way through here? Some real questions being asked here. Heavy archers. What are your orders? Heavy archers. Uh, actually, charge in, charge in. If we can get that general, we've won. That is the last general we need to kill. Um, all focus this way. Swords, I guess, going here. Oh, that unit of swords is over there. It's going to die. And my cavalry lost again. Ju Junior Ghoul Armour, or whatever they're called. It's insane. Um, got real issues with them. Haven't we? There we go. We can get this unit. Uh, charge into the rear and get these these guys. And then keep shooting these guys. Excellent. Ah, trap these guys. That general's gone. General is gone. Uh, I've still got my general. Uh, this, this side just needs to fall back. Uh, this unit out here might be in trouble. And might be dead. May or may not be dead. Yeah, there goes the general. Um, yeah, actually shoot these guys. Shoot these guys. Uh, my other two units of cavalry in here. They need to go out here. Just start chasing these guys down. 
And chasing these guys down. Actually, everything needs to get in here. Get in here. Um, here we go. Right. So all my archers also start shooting here. We've got so many archers as well that are just like lingering in the back here that I keep forgetting about. But at least they're they're lingering. They're gonna do some stuff eventually. <laughs> Maybe. We'll find out. Um, right. You charge in. You also charge in. Swords get up here. Uh, these two units, I guess, come over here. We've got more horse archers out here. Excellent. Um, yeah, shoot these guys down. Charge these guys. And then we're good. And that's all that's left. And we've done well. Um, very costly. I'd say we probably lost just about half our army. Uh, it's no surprise. It's a huge army. It's probably going to happen. Right, done well there. We've got them. Now we're moving to the next one. We've done excellent. I mean, I think um, probably some of the MVPs probably are horse archers. Our shot cavalry wasn't that great. Oh my gosh, yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to have to ch chase down a lot of that. Um, certainly, like, our heavy... Uh, these heavy ones were really good. Really, really good. Um, it's going to make the sieging a lot easier, but... It's, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll just quickly speed this up, because for the sake of the video, it'll be a very long video otherwise. Very long. Um, I guess I want to tell archers. Yeah, just archers will shoot the like units back here. So you've got a long way to shoot. Gonna have a long way to shoot, boys. Chase them all. Um, and then these guys, I guess, just chase after some other stuff. Yeah, you don't need to worry about them. Take out as many of these guys as possible. Excellent. But yes, yeah, so that is that is actually probably going to be the end of it. So we'll end the battle there. Close victory. That was a stressful one for me. I had like so much stressful stuff um, to do there. I was just kind of like, I don't know, overwhelmed. Those are, those are elephants certainly did a lot of damage as well. Um, but yeah. Um, but I'm just, uh, I'm just, I don't know. So, okay, we lost two units of swords. That's not atrocious at all. I'm just, yeah, I'm just like so f amazed that we won the battle. I mean, I, I had a solid confidence in myself we could. But I felt like the elephants were going to just do it for them. But um, we lost the general, yeah, I think somewhere with Bane and Christendom. Yeah, yeah, can take it, assassinate. Oh, okay. Very well, whatever. I think that's over here, isn't it? Yeah, Bane and Christendom. Did we lose him? I think we did, didn't we? Ah, shame. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Um, something's going on bizarrely there. Ghazi died, yeah. Succession, Hassan. Okay, um, so he's... Oh, so Ghazi, my heir, I think, died? I don't know. Block promotion. Do whatever you need to do. And then just take this. Uh, just, yeah, just 2,000 versus 400. That's what we like to see. Uh, easy, easy victory. Uh, Any more units lost? No, we're looking good. We're looking good. And just occupy. And there we go, Nishapur is ours. Um, I'm going to just repair everything. Um, repair all of this. Do I want this? A noble estate? Not really, actually. I'd rather have that knocked down. Um, and then I'm going to have you guys assassinate people. Um, and then see where we can go from there. Um, okay, whatever. He failed in his duty. The next one can try. We've got so much money, I can just do it. Just keep doing it. Oh, and he also failed. He's got, this guy's pretty damn good at saving himself from a... From a from enemy agents. Uh, replenishment, yeah, I think I'd rather have two in that. Um, actually, yeah, well, I've got, I've done it now. And then integrity, and let's also do more integrity, I think. Let's just keep it strong. Keep the integrity strong in this army. Integrity and more integrity. Everyone's happy on integrity. Uh, and then Merv. I'm pretty sure Merv can get some good units. Yeah, it's got a castle, so it's going to have some good units in here. We'll just put it here. And you can start recruiting... 
More swords to replace the ones you lost. Uh, and you you never had a full stack this army, so let's put in. Let's put in. I could put in some better Ghulam. Uh, some better Ghulam guys. I could have this unit a heavy shock. Yeah, I'm gonna put that unit in. It's a sword unit. It's a heavy shock. I'll put it in. It looks looks cool. Uh, you can upgrade. Uh, success chance. Yeah, have that, and then you can have um, chance of killing target, and I guess zeal, which helps with. Nothing currently, um, so I'm just going to give you extra campaign spotting my ability. That's fine. Uh, Herat, you're doing stuff. Gorgon, you're getting there. You're getting there slowly. Um, don't really want to actually do anything with that. Aleppo, you can build stuff. Aleppo can build plenty of stuff. You can build me a bigger mosque is what it can do. Um, Yad's needed a farm, which I now can't do. So, sadly, Aleppo, you're not getting your bigger mosque. We need that big mosque or something else. So that's actually a lot of our money we do sink into one building. So I'd probably rather build stuff empire-wide. Um, Aljuraf still not happy, so let's put a pleasure house in. And there we go, 600 left. Um, I'm now going to put this stack to get it to move on to Aleppo. Though Aleppo can't actually recruit anything currently, it will be able to in a turn. You're still recruiting stuff that's taking a turn. There, you're... Also, can you recruit anything? Probably could recruit stuff somewhere else. Can we cross the border into a vase? I think it's just because you've run out of population, haven't you? I've been just recruiting so much in Basra. Your next command, my lord. Yeah, it is. It's just because I recruited so much in Basra. Um, I'm going to get... Our lord needs good fighters. Yeah, I'll get some better archers. Get these better archers. Um, and that's where we're going to wrap up this episode for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, it was a long battle. I hope you enjoyed that really epic battle. Um, it's definitely... Uh, well, defined who's going to rule in the east. Obviously, it's us. As we're still here. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably try and take out Antioch. And maybe uh, take out Akka. And, well, well, we'll make moves anyway to start taking them out. I might take them, certainly a couple of these out. I will also like to take out Silesia. Um, we may have to deal with Georgia. Because some of these lands are uh, typically Muslim. As you can see here, Tabrit. Van is also really. And uh, Ardaban, Ardabil is, is Shia at the moment. But it is, it is truly Muslim. Um, and I'd like to take out some of these other places that Trevisan hold as well. Um, but that is probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you've enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, 